So finally, I think this is the final episode, or episodes, depending on how long there is. We've defeated all the bosses, and as you guys saw, we defeated the Father of the Abyss, Manus. And um, I didn't want to record too much of the DLC because a lot of people wanted me to play the game itself because the DLC was a little bit more, like, it's a cool DLC. But at the same time, it's mostly like... It's only, it only feels like there's only boss fights. There's not many enemies. It's not really, you know, more differential things. So if I've missed anything, let me know. But what we're doing today is we're going to see if we can go fight Gwyn. I think you're supposed to jump down here. I'm not sure, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah, we're supposed to jump down there. We have all the souls we need. We have... The soul of Seath, the scale is dragon. We have the soul of Gravelord Nido, the bequeathed souls, but whatever. And we have, finally, I think it was the soul of, oh, if I can remember. Yeah, Bed of Chaos, which is the Lord Vessel. So, offer souls to Lord Vessel. So now we just got to put all the souls in here. And it's something will happen. I think this is going to keep going over and over and over. But we have Havel's armor. We've decided... Well, I've decided... Since I'm playing. I mean, we're all together in this one. But I've decided to uh, to play this with Havel's armor. Because I did fight, as you guys saw, with the first armor uh, that I had. Which was Ornstein's armor. And I got absolutely destroyed. But I went to, to Havel's thing. And it was very nice. So, we are going on to the next area. This will be the last episode. Hopefully, I can get... Another game, meaning Dark Souls 2, up in this, hopefully, if we could record, because I want to do it as the celebration for before. Oh shit, are you guys? Oh shit, oh my god, this is so cool. I did celebration for Dark Souls 3, which is coming out, because I did pre-order it, so it'll be coming. I'll do an unboxing of that for sure, but god damn, this is Kiln of the First Flame, read message, need soldier. Oh god, this is so cool. Is that a bonfire or is that a person? I think that's it. Yeah, that's a... Is that a knight? I'm not sure, but we did level up enough. So, I'm level 88. Still rocking out with Lawtrex Ring or whatever it's called. Hopefully, I won't be... Oh, wow. I mean, you guys do have good defense. So do I. My shield especially. But three hits, you guys are dead. I hope Gwyn isn't all that hard. Black Knight Sword and Tight Knight Chunk. I don't know if it'll go to New Game Plus directly. Hopefully it won't. If it does, well, okay. Hopefully if it doesn't restart my DLC area, because I think I did miss something. But if I did, I'll go back to it, and I'll just fix it over on that end. But if not, then we're ending the series. Up the ass. Oh, and you're not even dead yet. Honestly, it's kind of nostalgic fighting these guys, because I remember them when we were fighting, like... Ooh, Red Black... Black Knight Greatsword, that looks sick. Um, like, when we were in Anor Londo, and we were having, like, t fun with, like, all the knights there. Like, I don't know, it feels like so long ago, but Anor Londo was literally just, like, a week ago. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Because, like, letting go of a game that, like, made, like... I'm on, I'm, I really am a nine, I'm a nine gagger, okay? Most of you are as well, but I do. I, I I've recently seen posts like, "Oh, this game has made me uh, feel this and feel that." Like ending a game, it is like you beat the game or the game has beat you type of thing. Uh, and honestly, it's like this game has beaten me because as many times as I've raged and everything, there is always that that moment of triumph that overwhelmed me more than the. Uh, the rage and sadness and tears itself. Black Knight stuff. Oh, shit. So, yeah, honestly, props to that for this game. I did play Dark Souls 2 before, and that's why I'm kind of neglecting on playing Dark Souls 2, because this is Dark Souls 1 is a blind playthrough. The only thing that I remember was, like, when I first recorded in, like, 2010 or so. Oh, there it is. But I don't really know. I didn't really know anything about this game. The only time that I searched things up was where do I need to go? Or I know this not really applies to the concept of blind playthrough, but to speed the things up in the series, I needed to know just for reasons. And yeah, in that case, 
I just needed to know because I wanted to speed things up and I wanted to beat the game. Also, sometimes people said that like with the bed of chaos, I use PewDiePie as an excuse. I did watch his video and I shouldn't have, but it was like a video that I met I watched like many many times ago. Like it was so long ago that I watched it. And especially since when I look up things, they kind of tell me that this and this and this are in this game. You have to go here, you have to do a certain thing, make sure you exit this boss room before he does this and that. Like even the same thing with Seath, Seath the Scaleless, I was, I, I exited the room and people thought this is because I looked it up. But no, I just looked it up because when the guy was doing a playthrough and showing me where to go, he said, get out of the room, no, 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 no. But anyways, we have made it to Gwyn. We will bow in respect to the audience and we will go in and fight Gwyn. Here we go. Oh god, I'm getting the shivers. This is crazy. Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder. Oh my god, the music. Oh shit. I want to know if I can, like, go from behind. Oh shit, oh shit, you could grab me, dog. Ah, oh, hell no. Oh shit, you took, like, almost half my health. Yo, let me get up. I want to know if I can heal by any chance, because his sword is fucking me up here. Heal. Oh, horrible idea. Oh, wow, that was a horrible idea. Uh, you're not picking me up, bro. No! Oh, God! I dodged, though. How does that work? Like, yo, if he abuses that, I'm going to be so sad. Because if this boss is all he does is grab, and it's going to ruin the fight. Oh, another horrible idea on my part. A really horrible idea. It sucks that a sword does like, like I mean, great boss. Kind of reminds me of the old king, uh, king in uh, Dark Souls. Fuck me, Dark Souls Two. But at the same time, it's like this fight is nothing more than back and forth. It's pretty much just block his attack. Thank God for this shield, though, Havel's thing, because or else I would think I would have been dead by now. Oh, I should have I should have blocked. I'm getting too cocky here. No, fuck. Literally, is no time to drink Estus. Like he always runs and like jabs and everything. Look at him. Like he's gonna go for that one attack too. And then I had no time to drink Estus right there. I could drink Estus. I'm gonna get hit. Yep, yep. Literally no time. Not even to get up. Why does it sound like I'm hitting rock when I'm attacking this guy? It's like the same sound they use when they fought the, like the, the last giant or whatever in Dark Souls 2. Anyways, he's almost dead. Oh my god, we beat Gwyn. He was literally at like one of the easiest bosses I've faced so far. Like Artorius was harder than this guy. Oh shit, we just beat Gwyn. Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Can I get his sword? Yo, yo, that would be savage. That would be sick. <gasps> oh, I could probably get it. All right, let's light this up, baby. Oh my god. I'm looking it up right now if I could get a soul, but I'm watching the, the, the cutscene. Not Gwendolyn. I don't give a shit about that little pussy. Yo, look at us. We're so cool. Whoa, that's sick. We relit the kindle we kindled the the main bonfire, I guess. Woohoo <laughs> shit. Yo, that's sick. Yo, we beat the game. Oh my god, literally I've had the most fun playing this game ever, honestly. Oh my god, that was just amazing. Oh, I'm so done with this game. I love it. Oh my god. Thank you all so much for watching This was Dark Souls playthrough <sighs> Honestly one of the craziest and most intense Playthroughs I've ever done in my channel and probably one of the longest Thank you all so much for watching 
you guys have enjoyed make sure to leave a like down below also comment to tell me what game i should play next before the how do you say it the availability or the opening of dark souls 3 but as always thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next one peace